Jazzwear Toys, I just want to thank you on behalf of the community for a very successful 2021. Your toy line looks amazing. Why, thank you, Simon. But this isn't even my final form. Nani? Oh, my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. Welcome back, everybody, to another video with The Domain. We've got another Jazzwear toy reveal, and this is from Brian MCX on Instagram. Goodness me, what is going on with Jazzwear right now? I don't know. They have clearly been elevated to a point. I mean, let's let's backtread for a, a little moment. The Halo toy line has gone between many different companies, McFarlane and Mattel, and they've both done very well but only... I felt like there's a ceiling to those toys, if you know what I mean. McFarlane had, like, uh, maybe a six or seven year toy run, but they only ever really produced the figures. They dabbled a little bit with other things, but it didn't really take off. And then Mattel also tried with a ghost. I always just kind of felt like the sales were very poor for Mattel. But Jazzwear, apparently they are just killing it. Like, absolutely killing it. First of all, Jazzwear has embrace the brand new world of Halo three and three quarter inch scale. And as we know, that is so much better because when you reduce the size of the figure, you can also reduce the size of a vehicle scale down. And that means we can have a lot more vehicles to scale. I mean, that ghost, like anyone can produce a ghost because that is a relatively small vehicle, even though the Mattel version was very, very large. And we've never really seen them break out of that figure comfort zone. And the three and three quarter inch is so perfect for that. Of course, Jazzwear also has the six inch Spartan collection and they're far more detailed. But this world of Halo scale is right up most people's alley. Now, long standing toy collectors will remember the days where McFarlane actually teased a Falcon that would come out with their regular McFarlane Spartan line. And that just got the community buzzing like you wouldn't believe. This was in the Halo Reach days. We don't know what happened to it. There are prototypes, but it fizzled out of existence. And that just makes you think, man, what other missed opportunities have there been over the time? Maybe because of scale issues, but maybe also just because large vehicles, you need the budget and the backing to produce these. Now, Jazzwear is a massive company. I don't know what the sales were like in 2020 for World of Halo and Spartan Collection, but they must have been quite big because Jazzwear has the money to inject into so many new molds and also new vehicles. Now, previously on The Domain, we looked at, we've actually done several videos on this, the new Wave 3 Jazzwear World of Halo scale and the new Wave 3 Spartan collection from Jazzwear. They look amazing. And then last time we also saw a reveal of a scaled down shade turret and a gun goose. And the gun goose was pretty much the first time that vehicle has been revealed to be in Halo Infinite. We've got a similar thing with the Mantis now. We've still not seen any gameplay from the Mantis. It is 343's love child, so it's no surprise to me that it's in the game. Oh, buddy, this looks good. Oh, yes. It looks pretty amazing. In this image from Brian, we can see three of the figures we knew were confirmed for this line, except now we can see them in packaging. The Elite Mercenary, Hyperius, so excited to get hold of that. And this brand new Spartan, which we can finally see the name of. It's the Spartan Cavalino. Cavalino weird name, but I kind of dig it. Cavallino is a town in southeast Italy, so I don't know why it's named after that. We've been going over this weird thing that's been going on recently, where all of the old Spartans from like Halo 3, Halo Reach, seem to be being renamed in Halo Infinite. I'm hoping that it's named Spartans from the campaign, but I probably don't think that is. It's, Cavallino is probably just the new Spartan, but the weird thing is, last time we saw that the Spartan Selox is kind of a new Spartan Scout. I said last time, why rename it? I don't need a new Scout. I just want Scout. I don't even care if it looks different, like Halo 4 and Halo 3. Spartans look so vastly different from each other, but they're still the same name. So I don't know why they're changing the names, and I especially don't know why they're changing the names when the new Mantis comes with just Spartan EVA. So why change up loads of the names, but keep some of them? Doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, let's have a look at this Mantis. Ah, it's got Spartan EVA. This EVA looks gorgeous. I would love to see this.
this color palette in Mega Constructs as well. It looks phenomenal. There isn't a lot to get from this image. Like the picture is clearly just an in-game image of the Mantis. I don't think that's actually a toy image. But there are a couple of things we can figure out. First of all, it says that there are only four pieces in this set. I assume that the Spartan is one piece. His Bulldog shotgun is one piece. So I don't know. I guess the Mantis is two pieces. Or the Mantis might be classified as one piece and there might be a base plate to support it, which is the fourth piece. I'm really hoping there is a lot of articulation with this Mantis. When we first got the original Halo 4 Mega Blocks Mantis, it had fantastic articulation. Really fantastic. I admit that the joints loosened over time, so it became more and more difficult to actually position it, but it was a really exceptional set. One of my all-time favorites. And then they re-released it as a lights and sounds Mantis, and that is what I'm thinking is going to be more like this Jazzware toy. The lights and sound Mantis, you could literally just spin the top of it. You could not move the legs at all, which I never liked at the time. I could see that being the case with this Mantis. I think you'll probably be able to swivel the top round and swivel the guns, but I don't think you'll be able to move the legs. I don't think they'll be articulated, which is a bit of a shame, especially when it comes to like maybe stop motion animations or maybe if you want the legs slamming down like the Mantis signature stomp. I don't know. We'll have to see. There's a lot to uh, sort of hypothesize here. We don't know much. All I do know is Jazzware is crushing it. Like absolutely destroying the competition. I'm so proud of Jazzware right now. I can't wait to see what they have for SDCC as well. Like Jazzware, they're doing well. And they have got a lot working in their favor, running into Halo Infinite, but they've clearly got their priorities set. So yeah, guys, I am super excited about this Mantis. I hope there's some good articulation, but I'm definitely gonna have one for my shelf. Let me know in the comments down below what vehicle you would like Jazzware to make. I think anything is possible at this point. I think a Pelican, on release of Halo Infinite is a real possibility. So shout out to Jazzware. Good luck in the future. Thanks for supporting another news video with The Domain. You have an awesome day out there. Stay safe. The Domain is signing off.